So I read online that this was like a secret gem in San Francisco, but I don't know how long that blog post was written. Like no, how long ago that log- It is not so secret. I think the secret's out. Welcome back to our California road trip. The last part, the final part, as we only have about two hours of driving left to go and we reach our final destination and that's San Francisco. So if you haven't seen the first three parts of this road trip, I'm gonna leave links down below. Go check it out. Look, the jam with the peanut butter. Strawberry jam, peanut butter jam. What's this song you're singing? <laughs> All right guys, so we just checked into our accommodation and this is the Cartwright Hotel in Union Square, San Francisco. It is part of Best Western's premier collection of hotels and where we are spending the weekend. So the plan for our time in San Francisco is to visit some of the most Instagrammable spots in the city because well, San Francisco is one of the most Instagrammable cities in the world. And I thought, let's take a bunch of awesome photos. I'm excited. I've never like, I've been to San Francisco before, but I've never really been like, like really focused on taking photos. I don't even know if I have a photo of the Golden Gate Bridge, <laughs> like legitimately. How have like, you been to San Francisco and you haven't gotten a photo of the Golden Gate Bridge? I don't know. How many know. times have you been to San Francisco? Probably at least five times. And you've never gotten a photo. <laughs> well, like the first couple times I wasn't really like, Instagram wasn't a thing. So you only take photos for Instagram? <laughs> no, but like... Good morning, guys. It is currently 5.23 a.m. and we've been up for about an hour and... Since 4 o'clock. Since 4 o'clock. We've been up since 4 o'clock. We are currently in a tunnel driving toward the Golden Gate Bridge. That's right, we're doing sunrise at the Golden Gate Determined That's where we're gonna get the best photos for the gram. Okay, guys, so we've run into a couple hiccups this morning. The first thing was that as you look, there's no sunrise. <laughs> Our second hiccup is the viewpoint that we wanted to get to. Google Maps was taking us like down this road. We are now at Vista Point. It is like the first viewpoint when you drive right off the bridge. It gets you this view, which isn't the best view in my opinion. Let's just stick here for sunrise, grab our photos, and we are gonna attempt to get some other viewpoints. First photo set done. We are starting to get prettier clouds now. If you look, it's getting really nice and pink. So I think we're gonna go try a second viewpoint. We made it to Battery Spencer, <laughs> finally. Where we originally set out to, to go take photos from. As you can see, it's a pretty awesome viewpoint. Probably my favorite viewpoint so far, the best one. Golden Gate photo. We have a first Golden Gate photo, finally. Success. Although, oh, now the wind's picking up. Ah! We are at our next photo stop and it is Lombard Street, which is the famous windy street that's just famous for being windy. That's literally it. It's just a really crazy windy street. And right now we are at the top of it. You're gonna kind of suss out what we want to do if we want to take some photos from up here. Because uh, we parked the car, we have a spot. I don't know what. And then we can come back up and drive down. Yeah. Right? It's not a very long stretch. It's no. Just down to that street down there. The good news is everything that we walk down, we're gonna we walk. get to walk back up. <laughs> Getting our steps in today. Oh yeah. Can't see the windiness of the no. street though as much yeah. from down here though. Lombard Street, photo complete. Stairmaster, half complete. Half complete. Back in the car, and now we're gonna drive down Lombard Street and see how windy it really is. We saw it, and now we will We'll experience. feel it now. Do you wanna drive? No, I think you're good. No? Oh, okay. Yeah, you got this. You, I believe. So our next photo stop is a picture of the trolley carts going down Hyde Street with Alcatraz in the background because on this street... Cable cars. Or, I think they call them cable cars here. That's true. I think they do call them cable cars. There's literally a sign right there that says cable cars, <laughs> so it's definitely cable cars. Yeah. The very top 
of the crooked part of Lombard Street is Hyde Street. Mm -hmm. And if you go down that street towards Alcatraz, you'll see the trolley cars, the cable cars coming up over the hill and you'll see Alcatraz in the background behind the cable cars. So that's our goal. Cable car shot with Alcatraz in the background. So we are at our next photo stop and it is the Painted Ladies, which is this row of buildings right behind me. Now the reason they are such a big photo spot is because, well, you might have heard of a show called Full House. These are the buildings that the Full House people lived in. Um, I don't really remember the show too much. I remember watching it as a kid. Plus, it is directly across from Alamo Park, which is here, where we can climb the hill, and it's gonna give us a awesome view over the tops of the buildings looking onto San Francisco. First photo attempt, Matt is gonna be up here, and I'm gonna go down over there. Painted ladies are in the background. Let's see how it goes. So now that we've done the overview, we've come a little bit closer to get some different angles, a little bit more close up on the, the cool houses. All right, dinner time at Miyanoche. It is a really cute Cuban restaurant that is, as you can see, very Instagram friendly. It is adorable in here. The floor is so cute. The walls are cute. So we're gonna take some photos, obviously. But first I gotta wait for some food. Photos complete. And now we eat. It's really good too. Last photo stop of the day. It is Bernal Heights, our sunset spot because it is a beautiful spot to see all of San Francisco and watch the sun go down. It is a wee bit chilly up here, so I put my rain jacket on. I'm gonna wait in line. It's a pretty popular swing. I mean, look at it. Look at the view that you are swinging over top of. So I read online that this was like a secret gem in San Francisco, but I don't know how long that blog post was written. Like no, how long ago that log- It is not so secret. I think the secret's out. Good morning, guys. We just so happened to be in San Francisco on the weekend of Pride, which is a perfect time to tell you guys about today's Best Western, where not only do you get stylish, newly renovated properties, but every traveler is welcome. So whether you're traveling for business or leisure or family or road tripping like us, you'll always be welcome here. But we gotta go because we have a Pride parade to watch and uh, maybe we'll get some good Instagrams while we're there. So our first Instagram stop today is for breakfast. We are at Mr. Holmes Bakery. It is an adorable little bakery that has a really cute Instagrammable sign. So we're gonna take a photo of it with some baked goods. You'll see in a second why everybody takes a photo of it. All right guys, we've picked our spot, the front row, and we have actually a really awesome view because the parade's gonna come from this direction and it's gonna go over that way. I'm really excited for it because San Francisco Pride is actually the largest gathering of LGBTQ communities and allies in the nation, so in America. There's over 200 parade contingents and exhibitors. It's gonna be quite the show. I'm excited, front row seats, let's do this. The parade is over and now festivities begin. It's going to be crazy here all the rest of today with all kinds of activities, but we have one more destination left to visit on our photo op here in San Francisco before we leave tomorrow. But we're going to say goodbye to Pride 
and uh, continue on with our San Francisco tour. One last Instagram for our time here in San Francisco and it's gonna be of, of course, the Golden Gate Bridge again, but this time it's gonna be at sunset and we're doing it from the south side. So we're <laughs> heading to Marshall Beach because it's supposed to be a really pretty sunset spot, although I don't really know what kind of sunset we're gonna get. It's a little overcast and it's very windy. So let's head down, see what we can find and snap ourselves our last picture. So we made it down to the beach and the sun is coming out guys. It's getting pretty and sunsetty. However though, the tide is in. So we have less beach to actually work with in our photos. Either way, we're going to attempt this. So sunset photos, let's do it. Like, and then like maybe the last time I just got like a photo of the bridge, but I wasn't like in it. Uh -huh. I don't even know if I got a photo of the bridge. I, I got like a video clip of the bridge. But like I wasn't in it, so like did I really even get a photo then?